Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video. Where I'm going to be talking about two big news stories. And also, I want to be talking about the Chelsea squad problem positions and perhaps priority positions in terms of recruitment. The first story is regarding Willian. He's come out when interviewed, talked about his situation at Chelsea Football Club, the contract that's been offered, what he wants at Chelsea and how potentially this could be the end of his Chelsea career. The story goes round and round and round and round. Also, a Spanish news outlet is reporting that Chelsea are making Jan Oblak their goalkeeping priority or the goalkeeper target priority. Hold on, their tar- hold on. Their priority target goalkeeper. I got there. I bet they are. And what's more, the same news story is reporting that we want to give them Kepa Avida Balaga. So, Jan Black, for my money, the best goalkeeper in the world, or the best shot-stopping goalkeeper in the world. Yeah, give us him, and we'll give you Kepa, who's statistically the worst keeper in Europe at the moment. So, I'll cite that story and where it's coming from, and we can just pray there's some truth to it, but I'm not holding my breath. But before we get into the good gear and the discussions about the blues, the misfiring of blues, a quick word from our sponsor. You want football news? You want football statistics? You want football fixtures? You want football scores? Football media? Go check out OneFootball. The OneFootball app is a place where all football greatness consolidates, whether you've favorited Chelsea stuff on there or you just want to check out other football stuff. You do that on OneFootball. It's superb. I use it all the time. I've tried a link in the bottom of the description for you guys to go check it out. Do go check out One Football. All right, let's get on with it. All right, so I'm going to talk about the problem positions throughout the Chelsea's 11 at the end of the video because I'm going to give a little bit more of my thoughts and opinions on this stuff that I really want to just, you know, express myself. But first, let's talk about these new stories. Uh, let's get the Yan or Black one out of the way before we talk about Willian's quotes regarding Chelsea Football Club. So, this was reported on the Metro today. Chelsea are ready to sell Kepa Aretha Balaga this summer and reportedly hope to use the underperforming goalkeeper as bait. How do you use an underperforming goalkeeper as bait? to land Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak in a player plus cash deal. The Spanish shotstopper, who is the most expensive goalkeeper ever, has struggled for form this season and was axed by manager Frank Lampard in favour of the veteran Willy Caballero, who's been pretty good to be honest, you know, in fairness to Caballero. Lampard has made it very clear that Kepa's standards have not been good enough and he's not been good enough for the team chasing a top four finish and already has his eyes on a replacement. According to Spanish television show, it's a television show, El Chinga Duito de Gorgones, <laughs> Spanish. Chelsea have made Atletico goalkeeper Oblak their top target. I bet they have. The Blues have proposed a swap deal that would see Kepa, who used to play in Spain with Athletic, go the other way in addition to 30 million euros, 25 million pounds transfer fee. Chelsea's board were believed to be concerned that Lampard's ruthless approach might damage Kepa's value on the transfer market, but a swap deal could alleviate that issue. Could it? Could a swap deal alleviate that issue? Now, Come on, Jan Oblak has turned Chelsea down before, he has. So what's changed his mind now? Oh, what you're doing even worse? Yeah, I'll come and, you know, hang out. So let's just theoretically for a moment here say Jan Oblak has changed his mind because Atletico aren't in a good place at the moment. They spend loads and loads of money. They're struggling. They're really, they've lost their identity. Ever since they moved to the Wanda Metropolitano, the home stadium hasn't been the same. To get Diego Simeone, people are saying it might be time he moves on. So there's say there's unrest there and just say, alright, there's a project building at Chelsea, they've got new young players, they're bringing in Ziyech, they've got money to spend, they're going to bring in other players, they're in the Champions League, London, this could be something I want to do. Even if all that is true, Atletico is not going to sell the world's best shot stopper for 25 million and Kepa. He's been so, so good for them in goal. Why would they want to lose that for the sake of 25 million? You know, for sure they might want to balance the books because they spent a lot, but still, I just can't see this happening, man. I mean, I hope it's true. Again, I'm not going to hate on Kepa, but Jan Oblak's elite. I just hope it's true, but I think in terms of a realistic target, Andre Onana from Ajax is probably up there. So there you go, I've spoken on that new story. Next up, Chelsea's Brazilian winger, Willian, who has been in exchanges with Chelsea for a long time regarding a new contract. Again, the Metro reports, Willian has indicated that he could leave Chelsea at the end of this season uh, as the club are refusing to change their contract offer. Now, 
I'm surprised they're offering him more than a 12 month extension as a 31 year old, but let's read on. The 31 year old is in his seventh season at Stamford Bridge, a long time, but his current deal expires at the end of the campaign and he could leave as a free agent. Chelsea have offered Willian a two year extension, but the Brazil international wants an additional year and is unwilling to accept the club's proposal as it stands. And the midfielder now admits it is difficult with Chelsea refusing to change their term. And Willian's quoted saying, Chelsea offered me two years and they are not going to change what they have offered, Willian told Esporta Interativo. I'm so good at Spanish. This is what he said after Chelsea's defeat to Bayern Munich in the Champions League. He goes on to say, the situation is difficult because of this. I really don't know if it will be possible. My goal is to continue working and focus on the remainder of the season so that Chelsea can continue winning games for the remainder of the season. Now, Willian's great, fine. He has got quality on his day. He can absolutely light up a pitch. It's not consistent enough for me to really be a f the top tier forward line player to challenge for titles or consistently keep Chelsea in the top four now, in my humble opinion. I know Frank Lampard loves him, fine, I dig it, he's got great work, work uh, great work rate, easy for me to say. And that's important in the Premier League, but his time might be ended. To be honest, like two year extension, he wants three years, man. He wants to play at Chelsea when he's 34 years old. As a forward winger, man, that's, that's ambitious. So I get it. William might be out the door, and I think that's probably for the best in terms of bringing in yet another elite level winger. Pedro out, Willian out, Ziyech in, who knows, maybe someone like Sancho in, or another top tier winger, bearing in mind Ziyech can play in the number 10 as well. It just kind of makes sense. So on that, let's talk about the problem positions on the Chelsea pitch. So let's talk, <laughs> goalkeeper, fine, I'll concede goalkeeper. If Frank Lampard genuinely doesn't see a future for Kepa Ritha Balaga, then goalkeeper. Hopefully someone like Andrea Anana can come in, that would be very exciting to see a new goalkeeper between the sticks, hopefully one that inspires a lot of confidence. So great, I think that's widely accepted. Also as well, I can't imagine Willy Caballero is gonna renew his contract, cause he's gonna be 39. And as good of a backup as he's been, you're just getting old now, bro. So there's that. We all know a left back is a problem position. Chelsea need a conventional left back that can pretty much replicate what the dynamics of Reese James in the right back position, but do it in the left back position. It's all very well having the defensive solidity of Espelicueta playing left back and Marcus Alonso playing left wing back when he's not getting sent off against Bayern Munich and getting turned. But you see what I mean? That's pretty much an obvious problem position. Next up, striker. Yes, Tammy Abraham's done well. Yes, Giroud's had a good game in that formation, but really Chelsea need... I'm going from someone to rotate with Tammy and potentially challenge him that if maybe Chelsea get the opportunity to sign an elite marksman, then get it. I don't think Chelsea should spend like 100 million on a striker, but I feel like they should sign someone that could start a run of games absolutely fine, and it wouldn't feel like they're playing a really, you know, massive B-Tech striker. Do you know what I mean? Giroud's gone, Batshuayi might be sold. I don't know when his contract runs out. Might be two years. Regardless, a striker is really, really important at this point. Chelsea are flush for midfielders, and Hakim Ziyech is coming in who can play in the number 10 role. Um, obviously, Billy Gilmore's been promoted. There's enough midfielders around the Chelsea squad to do the business. They just need the people behind them to inspire confidence and the people in front of them to convert chances. So, winger as well. So, we've got a winger, a striker, a left back, a goalkeeper. <laughs> and a lot of people have been discussing a centre back. Now, Chelsea are four. Decent centre-backs, Rudiger, Tomori, Zuma and Christensen, but they all seem to rotate form, like Christensen's been the better one of late. Uh, before that, it was like Zuma, but even before that, Zuma was bad. Tomori was the shining light and the best of the lot when he came in. Who knows, he still might be, I don't know why he's not been playing. Rudiger was the most senior figure when he was left out for the beginning majority of the season. Everyone's like, oh, they need Rudiger to come back in, that best and most cons you know, consistent centre-back. And he's come back in and he's been the worst centre-back. So it's peculiar, they all rotate form. The partnerships were budding and not, but I sort of have sympathy for Frank Lampard because they all just play in and out of form and it's leaving Chelsea Lampard and Chelsea fans in quite a frustrated position at the moment. So amongst all those other positions I've spoken about, maybe centre back as well. It's a difficult one and there's going to be a lot of business done over the summer I feel. If Chelsea do secure this top four place, this game against Bayern Munich is an incredibly important, or well, this loss against Munich is an incredibly important beacon of where Chelsea are and that should beacon needs to be flashing to the Chelsea board 
<laughs> look, so if this doesn't reflect your ambitions, you need to put work in because this is what the club is right now. Make sure you abide to financial fair play, but this is a reflection of what Chelsea are. It's not the manager's fault. Really, it's not really the player's fault. It's their level. You know, the ball's in your court. It's your move. What are you going to do? Anyway, what do you lot think? I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on these new stories today. The Anna Black thing, the Willie Ann thing. Get down in the comment section below. Express your thoughts on those two stories and also problem positions on the pitch. Tell me players that you'd be interested in bringing in and who you think is the weak link in the current Chelsea squad. If you have enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like the video. That means a lot. Why not subscribe if you're new to the channel and follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Now that's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby